Vibe with it. What's good? What's good, family? I'm gonna vibe a little bit, just a little bit. Hey, welcome back. See, you made it through a month. Let's talk about it. Let me clean my glasses real quick, man. You know, I can't be looking all foggy through man. You know what I mean? Beautiful day out today. Y'all been out there? Ooh! Oh, go. Vibe with me a little bit. You know how we do. You gotta do that because somebody told me, hey, you need me to vibe that, man. You got that vibe music. Part of loving on yourself, you know? Yeah, go, go. It's good with you. You have a good, uh, happy holidays. Huh? Made it through the holidays. You here now? Living the life. Hey, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to some 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 great people out there doing great work. All right, um, where my grades out of from? Um, you know, a lot of us new people like myself coming out, stepping out, um, and uh, trying to add some uh, solutions and understandings to what we going through as a as a black culture, as a black people in America, uh, and if around the world, all right? Uh, so to salute to people like uh, Vicky Dillard, all right? And I send these shots out people, I want people to understand. Um, I do this, I started this based off of the, the need for myself to, uh, one is through uh, some of the things I was going through and uh, seeing that I wasn't the only one going through it. There's so many of us going through it. And then um, understanding that the wealth of understanding that I have uh, uh, allowed myself to dwell in and it comes to me. And then uh, understanding that when you go through things, you're going to hit a depth in your life. And uh, that's going to bring you to wanting to know more, figure it out. Um, and not necessarily wanting to hear it from the traditional politically correct type of way. Right? So, um, and then finding purpose that, Sean, you are, um, you're one of your communicator, uh, effective communicator. Um, uh, you've been taught uh, by this system. Um, so, um, yeah, I feel obligated that this is what um, is necessary from a lot of us to um, have this capacity. All right. So I send a uh, shout out to Vicki Dillard. Um, I said it because, man, you want to get that news, you want to get that update, that new stuff, uh, what's going on with the VAC and all this other good stuff. She's on point with everything. All right. She know how these people are moving with us, against us, for us. Um, Love on how she uh, talked about uh, uh, us uh, as a community need to um, start investing in ourselves, uh, one another, and uh, trying our best to um, to bring each other up. You know, bring each other up. We've been down long enough, don't y'all think? It's time to get up. Get up off that and get up off this, get off the couch, get off the TV, the soap operas, this and that, you know, and it's time to put that work in, put that work that, uh, that, um, our forefathers, our four women, all right, put forth to come out the struggle at one point in time. Cause this ain't the first, man, shit, struggle, man, we, that's what we know for. That should be all our last name. Uh, you know, Sean Struggle, such, such. 
Teresa struggled, you know, you know, all that. Uh, Tammy struggled, Keith struggled. All of us should be one family because we ain't all struggle, black folks. Feel me? Um, so, also, brother, brother Yusef, man, just just talk to him, just listen to him. Uh, felt like I talked to him because I I be listening to these cats, man. You know, got their knowledge, man. Uh, better myself, but brother Yusef was talking about the uh, indigo child, children, man. You know, listen to him and that resonated with me because that's also one of this man. You know. I got my Gemini out there, man, and <laughs> without him, without he, there's nothing in me to tell, don't tell me that I know exactly who he is and he knows exactly who he is. And for me, he's been my messenger. For him. Um, so, brother, you said talking about them indigo children, man, so go, go down there and check that out. It's in my playlist. Um, we're going to talk about uh, uh, the Kabbalah. I'm going to try to get us a uh, Kabbalah exposed, all right? And I'm going to try to do it within, uh, you know, tell y'all, this is yours. This is your science. This is your alchemy. This is what you understood, all right, at one point in time. Uh, Tony Con, uh, Cosmic, all right, and two other uh, young men, and, and Daniel Mack, all right? These are the three uh, lecturers that I allowed to... Um, let me consume to understand. Uh, also, uh, something that I'd already, you know, read in this long. Like I said, you know, you want to know some stuff. <laughs> but uh, shout out to uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Listen to him this weekend. Uh, resonated right back. Uh, always be listening to him, but uh, I had to get back on that message world to uh, see what the uh, father of the gods was talking about. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Yeah, I said that. I don't believe there is not one person on earth in this moment that got more knowledge than that, than God. That's facts. Many say, you know, they out there, they regurgitate and uh, memorize, you know, um, the sun, how far distance from the sun and how long length and width of the earth and all this kind of stuff and all this stuff. But one needs to understand, uh, the minister made a good point. <laughs> the Almighty, the Creator. You're going to be a reset. And if we don't understand what is going to be given to us, what's going to be transferred to us, if we don't have nobody in our little tribe, community, understanding of the people, then why should the Almighty give us something that we don't even Know what it is. Hmm. See, at one point we knew this stuff, people. And that's what the Honorable Minister Farrakhan is trying to show us. You know, this, this was used to be natural memory. So go down there. Go down there and check that out. Um, he's talking about the boule. That's why I was tapped on there, you know. I talked about the boule in my last videos. Imagine that. All right. Um, and, um, the spirit led me to the minister. Of course, he would know. Right. Um, very knowledgeable. All right. We also got a uh, young Pharaoh. Man, salute, young dog. Man, glad to see you back on the scene, doing your thing, um, looking straight-minded, man. It's all right. We all, you know, go through things, fall off, and experience things, especially you young folks, man. Y'all going to experience life. That's life. And for anybody to sit back in the cut and be like, you know, blah, 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 at you, man, they, they wrong. Because you got to live life. And it's going to be at your speed. And that's what I like about you, young dude. When you do things at your speed, on your whereabouts. Because that's who you are, your God. So, you know, do you. Just don't kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. But he talked about, he talked with the LGBTQ um, community. He sat down with some young ladies and, um, and young men and, um, uh, trans transsexuals and um I believe young Pharaoh handled himself very well until you know you could tell the 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 tension in the the and then you know, I, I don't want to spoil for anybody but 
you know, when we know that the tension is getting high, you know, Pharaoh, I would just uh, uh, say, man, um, you could tell when your what you were saying was resonating in touch because when people get angry about what you're saying, why? Like the question of the, the young lady, one young lady was really mad about is, why would you, a heterosexual, go and tell your child, teach your child about them, whether in a negative or positive way, that's still your right. you that child's parent. The other side didn't see why you would do that when that child would have to still go interact with other children. So what kind of, you know, um, what damage, I guess she was, they were looking at it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean they and, you know, just, just, you know, I don't like to use the trans and all that stuff because uh, it separates them, all right, uh, from us in some ways, in which we know we should because you're something different than what I am, but what they are trying to get across is that they don't just, they just don't want to be negative. You know, they don't want the negativity of, oh, you're trans and, oh, I don't live, you know, and, and we, you know, that's what they're trying to fight. And I, I don't think a lot of us understand that, but um, because we're looking at the part of them um, doing something that we necessarily can't identify with. Once again, you know, uh, young Pharaoh said it though. I, what you do don't got nothing to do with me. I, probably half the time y'all ain't gonna be in my video of course. I can't, you know, uh, me honestly, I, I don't think I've been a, near a transsexual knowingly, all right, you know, since I left California. So, uh, might have unknowingly, but hey, if I don't know, I'm cool with, you know, the fact when it comes to me being with one or, you know, I, you know that's not my thing. You know, I would like to be a heterosexual. I'm heterosexual, strictly, you know, that type of relationship. But as um, long as an individual knows my preference and I know theirs and we can have boundaries there, you know, to each his own. All right. But you could tell the tension got high because, you know, um, they could tell young Pharaoh didn't, you know, too much care for that. Um, but he was stating, you know, these are facts that we're going to have to deal with, you know. Um, fighting, you know, that ain't going to solve nothing. It ain't going to solve nothing. We have to come to an understanding. All right? We we have to. Um, but go check that out. Uh, I am Shalamika. I want to say it. That, I don't know if I said it. She's a lovely lady. I like watching her. Um, she's reaching out to our, our ladies, man, our, our 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 women who are out there. Um, they might not just be handling themselves in you know in the right decor that we used to. All right, um, we got a young lot of young ladies out there who um, are trying searching for themselves, trying to identify, um, try to find their identity. You know who they are, what their purpose is. Um, I was trying to talk to a friend um, who's a psychiatrist who um, here pretty soon I'm going to start going live and uh, as soon as I get my computer and product all that, all that stuff right, got to wait till the sun get off, you know what I'm saying, I'm not too sun savvy with that stuff. And so hopefully next week we'll be going live, all right, and uh, be doing some things so I'll get some guests on here. And uh, so we can talk to, to our community. Um, not everybody want to run, run to that counselor. Not everybody wants to go talk to a psychiatrist, air their problems out. And that just goes from us. We black people. We personal. We uh, we uh, we deflect. We, we be in denial, uh, which causes us to go to our alcohol, drugs, uh, and which causes more more issues. And we know this. All right? We know this. Um, Jamal Rashad, man, thank you so much. Uh, KJ was talking about. Um, The um, no mule, uh, no forty acres in the mule. So I put that video out um, talking about why I don't think we, you know, we're gonna get reparations because some already came through and uh, and did that. That's crazy how 
And it just showed up too, not too long ago, right before the thing. But uh, so we ain't gonna get them forty acre mule, and, but he expanded on that, and I loved it. Beautiful, beautiful man, beautiful. Um, Victoria Hunter, she's out there new. I just uh, started picking up on her. She talked about that paradigm, you know, change your paradigm. Uh, liked it, like what you was talking about, sister. Yes, yes, goddess. Um, Shout out to uh, Elijah uh, Emin. Emin. Uh, he's been sick under the weather, but see, he came back a little bit. Hey, appreciate you. Uh, uh, Dr. Ray Hagen, been under the weather. Appreciate you. Tasha K, her and her family, we've been under the weather. We appreciate y'all, you know. Um, so, at that, <clears throat> this be the, you see we're a little juvial today. All right. Been a month. Hey. Incredible, all right? We bring the ancestors in, all right? Man, got all the elements, got my water. Got my... One thing I didn't talk, talk, tell y'all about that last video, I was talking about, um, I'm sure you have your your five elements. Part of that five element was, I told you, was incense. Also, you got your crystals, too, all right? You got your crystal is an earth, all right? Your earth, all right? Incense, crystal, part of your earth. But you have your water, you have your, your candles, got my candle lit. All right, got me a little incense. Man, got me a little thing. My little bear set me up. Let me set my little thing up, y'all. Give me a minute, let me set my little thing up. Let me do my little incense. I love that thing. Yeah, Gemini got that for me, boy. That boy, ooh. Ooh, he a beast. He, 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 he be doing things unexpected type kid. You know what I'm saying? Boy, that child right there, boy. He show up. Mm. He just like the type. Mm. And that thing flow. Y'all done seen that before probably. If not, man, go get that. That's one of them uh, instant flows. Man, that, that back drive here right now. But anyway, all right. Um... So today, all right, uh, my counselor, I told told my counselor to go ahead and record me going uh, my uh, going to the second level. All right, yeah, we're going to the second level of this counseling now, because you know you're in the therapy room, right? And um, in this design, this therapy, you can't stay at the same level, all right? With me, you have to elevate. Right? You're not gonna sit around and worry about. Oh, boy, my name is you know, we're not gonna be sitting around worry about who and yeah, 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 my money and I ain't got no kind. Yeah. That's the whole point of us coming into the therapy room to get you know get get your spirit back, get it, get get your get your uh, get your qualm back, right? Get your swag back. Get you back in the in the right frame of mind where that you're not just there for 15, 20 minutes. You're there for as long as you decide. All right. So some things. I'm the counselor. And I'll be counseling Mr. Shellman, who has been going through this month long trial. We're gonna try to find out if he's accomplished some things now. You, you 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 riding along with him in his evaluation, but at the same time, you use this format to evaluate yourself. See how this works? So this is where we come to the point. Remember I told you, this therapy is more for me at this point in time than it is for you. Remember I told you that? First video, right? Now I'm telling you. This video, for those who are new beginners, for those that don't know, understand if they are ready for the next level, for those that maybe the holidays put a damp on you, you know what I'm saying? Some people right now can't pay their bills. This is real. Cause they ain't put too much up under that Christmas tree or when about that new car or uh, whatever the case might be. Lost their job. Can't go to work. Things like that. 
This is for you. Okay, let's ride. Let's ride, Mr. Shellman. So, Mr. Shellman, this is gonna be a self. Listen to me. Self evaluation. Okay. I'm gonna take the book out of Infinite Watts, but Ralph. Ralph, watch me out. Watch this out. Watch this out. Compared to two months ago, Mr. Shellman, how do you feel today compared to two months ago? Can you tell me? Well, let's see. Two months ago, I felt um, detached. I felt um, like I was a problem. Like uh, I was a cycle of a problem. Two months ago, I felt aware of myself, self-aware. Still confident, but confident damaged. As somebody was throwing darts at you, if your confidence was a, was a dartboard, and somebody was throwing uh, darts at it to test it, right? Um, hurt, yeah, hurt on the inside, hurt, uh, as if the hurt of tired of crying, but the hurt is turning cold now, and anger, uh, almost like this, hurt turning to like that, like this black rock. Little lonely, you know? Little lonely, you know? And you know you have peace when you when you get uh when you get in a positive state and you let negativity just uh not be around you. You don't allow negativity you you still you know, I told you guys uh before, we are people of uh drama lovers. We we this society, this system is just, they love drama. They drink it. And we do. We do. True story. You don't see nobody go out on my, on my street. We old folk, old, retired. Right? Don't see so many people that still work. They wild and stuff. They can't come home. They come out. We got one couple that, that, that stay across the street. When they ain't cold, they probably the only ones that going to be outside. Continuously, all day, right? But everybody else, they in the house, right? How come, <laughs> how come ambulance been coming down, right? COVID been happening. Everybody. What they say? Everybody coming out their house to see who, where the ambulance going? Including... As I say, we drama based. We like it. I ain't saying we was trying to, we was like, we like to go see who, you know, damn, somebody died. No, not like that. But we so attentive to the drama crap. You get what I'm saying? I read a parade of people, homeless people could walk by banging on their drums and talking about, we need food. We need food. Uh, we walk all the way down the street. How many people you think gonna oh, come up there and watch that? <laughs> That's us, man. That's us. So, that's that's how I feel. So, how do you feel? How do you feel compared to that to, to today? <laughs> I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulder. See, uh, in 2005 to 2006, I uh, was 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 part of a funeral detail in uh, Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and uh, was he seven? 
had a bad team, funeral team. I learned from some great 13 Bravo before I went to uh, Fort, Fort Seal. So, um, uh, individuals like uh, Michael Randolph and uh, Smoke uh, Washington and uh, Big Dog, uh, you learned, right? So I was able to take that that understanding to uh, Fort Seal, and they gave me a team E sixes, and we just rocked it. Um, so in that, being able to do that job at a high performance. We got all the details, all the funerals. All the, so, and we was cool with that because it got us away from work. A lot of us wasn't on the, on there teaching and stuff, and that got monotonous, you know, dealing with soldiers all the time. So it, got, it was nice to get away. Um, we would go spend a night sometimes. You get per diem and, you know, overnight stays and things like that. So um, that, was got, that was nice. But unbeknownst to a lot of us, a lot of us had already toured about – at least one to two times, right? And I had just came off a, a 15 month tour, uh, one of the toughest tours that um, a lot of us had uh, did done. Uh, 15 months because we got extended. You know, we was told, told 12, but we got extended to 15. I mean, three more months. So that was taxing. Took a toll on a lot of us. Um, so when we come back during the funerals. Uh, Funerals were professional, but you felt it was an emotional grind, all right, because you understood, all right, so to die, all right, we got to bear them, but we got to bear them, we're on, got to do our job, all right. Um, so you compartmentalized, I know now, you compartmentalized the emotions. You know what I'm saying? You're seeing the mother, the spouse, the father, uh, whomever you're giving that flag to, and Unfortunately, I was the one that, you know, had to recite the, uh, the, the, the speech and pass the flag. If I didn't have an officer with me in nine town ten, I didn't have an officer with me. Uh, so these things eat at you, but you compartmentalize them because you're being professional. Just like you compartmentalize when you go to these deployments and and and, and see things and you know hold a dead body or have to shoot somebody or whatever and all that stuff, you compartmentalize that until you get out of theater, right? Because if you don't, you, you know, that's your, that's your life and that's your, um, your battle buddy's life, right? That's your guy next to you that you're protecting, you know, he's protecting you or he or she. So, um, coming back from a funeral, fell asleep, probably 10 minutes, woke up, got there, um, my whole left side shut down. Face, everything. Bell palsy. All right, long story short. So, this was 2005, six. all right. Um, what, 35? Okay, young dude, all right. Um, but I held a lot in, y'all. I, mean, I held a lot in. Because... Um, I was before um, being at that level, E7. You know, you had to learn, okay, you can't have no tempo. You can't just fly off the handle because you have soldiers looking at you now. So you're you're not just that E6 that can get away with, you know, certain things. And so it's just like anything else in the business world. When you become the manager or the boss or whatever, you got to act a certain different way so that because you really, really got people looking at you. And then you're trying to go to the next level where that at the next level being the first time, you really got to, you know what I'm saying, put your A game on and, and, and not see people, not see, not let people see you out of control. All right? So I was that type of individual that, man, I'm hands on. <laughs> I used to tell something, man, hey, look. We go across this water, man. I ain't trying to write on no piece of paper. You did this, Johnny Jick did this, and he shouldn't have went to man. I'm, you're gonna get hemmed up with me. Hands on. Ain't got time. Didn't not enough time in the day to sit up here and write to. So, cause at the end of the day, I felt that was more effective. I ain't talking about no hurt nobody, no soldiers like that. But I let them know you putting my life in jeopardy, and then at the same time you putting yourself life in jeopardy. And then I'm the one who's going to have to write the letter to your mom and dad. 
who showed up at the battery saying, you're going to bring my child back, right, Sir Sergeant? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You see what I'm talking about? So I didn't play with people. I ain't got time to play with people. And that was effective. All right? At one time that I remember having, uh, that I actually collared a soldier up in, uh, in Afghanistan kind of hard to let him know I, he didn't have his battle buddy with him. All right? And uh, we understood that's a no-no. You always have a battle buddy. All right? Always. And uh, he quickly understood he quickly understood, you know, I mean, he, you know, when you're a leader, it's how you do it. Because soldiers know you ain't trying to hurt them, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to get your attention. Just trying to get your attention. Um, so that's near to you, Dad. But um, getting to understanding that this was perfect for me to talk. I'm a talker. I'm a thinker. I'm an absorber. Absorb everything. So, um, why not let it allow myself to allow my feelings, to allow my inner to come on the outer, right? And for others to see. Why not be an example? Right? You're 52, not 25. So, <laughs> you know, your clock, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going like this. But there's a young person out there just dwelling in it, trying to figure it out. And through you and others, like who's doing what you're doing, man, they'll be able to say, you know what? Because <laughs> you got to understand, some of these young people who don't know us, they see you got your little house and you got your little car and you got your little nice clothes and stuff. These young people outside looking in and be like, man, they got, dude got his stuff together. Oh man, she man, she hot. She she got her stuff together. You know, she got a good job, good vision. And really, <laughs> they don't know. They don't know that you you deal with the same demons, crap, daily life that they do. Those of us that don't live in that facade. But even the ones that do, you know, they go through more, just as much hell. Because, hell, they sitting there, one, they got to be fake. And then, two, shit, they get the fakeness, when it's seen through, they got to try to go be them real selves. And that's just even harder because I've been fake all my damn life, half, half my life. <laughs> so they, they trapped in all kinds of equitios, okay? But that's, that's, that's the purpose, all right? That's my purpose. How you dealing with control of your temper, control of your anger, control of others, vices, problems, and situations? Let's start with temper. Dealing with temper, man. I'm, I'm dealing also with temper, man. I, man, matter of fact, y'all, look. I got to. Ooh, I got to. Like I told you, we just talked about it, right? I was at, I was at cut fuse. I ain't even have a fuse. I don't even think I had a fuse. I think you just light a match or a thing and just throw it over there. And it's, oof, it's I just, maybe you talking about zero to 100. What the fuck is zero? I was already at 100. That's true talk. All right. And that's sad. That's sad on my part. Because that's no control. No control. All right. But the control's been there. Since I've been meditating, I've been meditating for like not going on two years. So the control, oh man, it's, it's amazing what I'm able to allow. I, I amaze myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna suck and play with you. I amaze myself. You still shake, you know. Um, the shades come afterwards though. After it's done, it's like I guess you come off that vibration that, that you're in, that's steadying you, and then when you come off of it, it's like. You come into that, you're back into your inner, I guess. I, I can't call it, but you still have your shakes. You still have your sweats. And you're like, man, you know, <laughs> you just be like, sit there. And I sit there and I'm like, boy, back in the day, ooh, I would have bit their head off. But that's a beautiful thing to be able to witness that now.
in 52. It saves me my, my, I ain't gonna have no heart attack. I ain't gonna have no stroke. So we good in that department. Your anger, it's the same thing. And you temper your anger. Um, with that, I adjust the anger to understanding it's just an emotion. So find out what you're angry about instead of dwelling into the anger. Because until you find out what you're angry about, what you're angry about and re make resolution with it, identify it, why? Why are you angry about that? What has it got to do with you? And you start unraveling it, then the anger starts subsiding. It's, going, it's just an emotion. Just a feeling. It's temporary if you allow it to be. And at some point in time, it don't even have to be there because it's just a feeling. It's just a desire you have. I mean, not a desire, but a feeling, all right? An emotion, all right? That you're going through, unbalanced. Right now, you're unbalanced. What's making you unbalanced? Figuring it out. Just figure it out. You're sitting down. And not pacing and you know, using the anger for positive. Challenging it. Learn to challenge it. Channel it somewhere else. Okay, you're angry about this. Okay, go do something. Go do something positive. Go listen to weights. Go clean up. Go go mop the flow. Oh, go fix this. You remember you ain't fixed that? Go fix it. Real talk. Learn to challenge it. Channel, channel it somewhere else. Beautiful. Beautiful. Control others. I put that up there. You can't. Well, I put all of this crazy shit. I put that up there. Oh, but I'm in the third person. You know, I'm trying to use it. You can't. Understanding that you can't control nobody else. Yeah, you halfway control your ass. That's why you be in the shit you be in. Too busy trying to control, worry about somebody else that don't. If somebody don't want something, what you being mad about? What, why are you trying to, well, leave it alone. I used to be good at this. And I told you I've been married five times, so. I'm an easygoing person when it comes to situations, problems. I call them situations now. We'll get to that. But used to be in the problems. It's like, to each his own, man. We got, hey, we ain't got to argue about it. Right about it. There's somebody there for you, somebody else. It, it, we're not just a one dynamic being where, oh, I got to meet that soulmate. You got a lot of soulmates. <laughs> Nobody going to tell you that, but you got a lot of soulmates. All right? So... But we get narrow-minded sometimes, all right? Because we're just trying to do right. A lot of us, we're just trying to do right, all right? Um, but I had to learn because uh, with a temper, with anger, you you cannot be a controlling person because that leads to domestic violence and stuff like that, in which uh, I've seen enough of that in my little young life done to my parents or parent doing it and that, Nah, I can't. I can't prescribe to that. All right. So, vices. How you doing with your vices, Mr. Shell? Hey! Yo, you know what I said of uh, um, videos back? I love it. I watched that pee. I watched that pee like cable. But, coming to the understanding, self-awareness that, why? You know, mine stems back to a shorty. You know, I was introduced to influence to that at a young age. And I think anything a young male is influenced at a very young age. I think six, seven I was. Um, that stick with me. And I just have to be honest. You know, I, I, I hear a lot of these young people and uh, older people also coming forward with their with their, their story. Um, I... Um, a lot of people scoffed at Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne used it as a, as a, uh, I don't know how to say it. I don't know if he was like laughing, 